Hello, welcome to this little demo to show you how the web GL version of the color replace shader works. In this example, you'll see I've got this ogre character that I'm working on, and I've got this little slider set up for changing some of the colors. Uh, for each of the five colors, I've pre selected some uh, sample areas of like the dark areas and different uh, tones from his original texture. And they're mainly the green tones of his body here, but this could very well be any color that you pick. So there's five color picks, and I can choose one, two, three, four, five at the top uh, row of your keyboard. If you press one, two, three, four, five, then you get uh, you see these colors that the picked colors have been changed to. So the first color is the dark tones here. So you see when I change it to red. Uh, all these dark tones on his body. As I say, I've been pre-selected these areas uh, for this material and just set this little web demo up so that people can try it. So we can go ahead and make some kind of like fire type. So I would choose color one there and choose color two. Maybe make that more kind of orangey. And the softness is kind of like a soft fall off. You can see you can go a little bit further with it and then press 3 and we can get something even more yellow and increase that. Now with colour 4, uh, the alpha channel of that, that new colour controls gloss but only at the area that that colour picks so you kind of have control of um, if you want that area to be wet and the other cool thing is if you change the replace effect level down so that it gets all the original colors back you can actually use that to control like the gloss and you could do that in the the actual materials you could pick an area that you want to be glossy and then you can make it like become wet so that could work for like a rain effect if uh, it's been raining it and you could eventually make you know clothes dry something like that uh, so that's colour 4. Colour 5 does a different thing, it controls metalness wherever colour 5 is, so in this case it's, it's the higher tones. So if I change that to, let me just bring that back up so I can see it, change that to like a different colour, maybe like bright yellow, and increase the softness there. And now I can increase the metalness of that area, you can see it almost looks quite goldish. Maybe too much for gold. Gold's kind of a dark brown at its uh, root level. So there you go, you've got this uh, shiny gold uh, upper colour. You can increase the, the range of that with the softness here. And I press 4. I can do like a glossy, a glossiness on that. Um, yeah, I can increase the range there. And then the other three colours. They, will, they would uh, make use of the textures, uh, gloss and metalness. Uh, so really color four and color five, they're just extra gloss on top of it. So they're getting added to the original gloss and metalness of the texture you feed into the material. Um, and then they get clamped off so they don't get too high. And yeah, so you got full control of this. And it means it's fairly easy to make like a little statue version of your characters. You can take the original character, pick some of the colors you want, and then you can make a little gold version if you wanted. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and make a different type of effect. So I'm just going to turn all the colors to black. Right, everything down. Color three, I'm going to turn everything down. Four, including the extra gloss, and five, and bring that green down. So there you can see also the, the nails here are protected, so they're not affected by any change I make because I've created a, a, a mask slot so you can paint white where you want the effect to happen on your character and black where you want to protect it. I think that's right, yeah. So white will let it go through and black won't. So you can see I've protected the nails here 
and I've protected the teeth somewhat to some degree. Um, yeah, just not on the feet, just on the hands, and I've also protected the eyes there. So they're not getting affected by it. That's quite a scary look, actually. Uh, so I can take color, you know, the first color that I've picked the darker shades and actually make this white. Pick color two and make it maybe like a really light blue. Let's increase the softness so we, you know, we get rid of that harsh part. Uh, the first color, you don't really need the softness because it's like the first layer, if you like. They get layered up from color one to five. So we'll color three, let's do, uh, let's do a bright blue. Okay, color four. Again, I'll just do a bluish, soften that a bit. And then color five. Uh, yeah, I'll just make it a little bit soft, maybe metallic to make it darker. So you've got this kind of inverted look, and what you can do is you kind of jump between these two levels. So you, so you could write a little script that just taps into this uh, level here. I've already got obviously the script that made this, so you can use the, the variables there, and you can give them that kind of blank uh, electric shock type look. Um, yeah, so maybe just one other example you can do to make them look metallic. Uh, let's go to each of these. And you know you see those kind of like old statues with the kind of uh, oxidized blue sort of look to it. So it's this kind of greeny bluish. Usually see them in old buildings and stuff. Uh, so greeny blue. there and then we get to these ones which will be like your metal so we'll give it a bit of gloss and color five it's going to be the actual color of the metal because it's going to have quite a high metalness um let's increase the softness of some of these a bit more green and there you go, you've got a kind of oxidized looking uh, statue. Like so. Um, change that a little bit darker. Now, because his, uh, his pant line there is so, it's so obvious, that's it's totally picking up that color when I've sampled the darker areas. So, that's also because of the range uh, slider that's actually in the final the final version that you would buy but I've kept it quite simple here just by giving you the, the softness amount um, but there's also range sliders to help limit that but there you go so that's um, some of the things you can do with this this shader it takes your original textures uh, we'll take an albedo, a normal map and a metal gloss map or metal smoothness rough smoothness is in the alpha uh, it takes a protection mask I call it so you can keep areas safe and uh, you get control of five color picks uh, the last two color picks color four color five give you one gives you gloss in its alpha and another one gives you metal as a kind of enhancer there's also sliders for overall gloss uh, in the actual final shader as well. So if you really want to boost the entire glossiness, if you want everything to get uh, that effect, it's going to sort of cover the whole thing. Uh, a little bit like this. But whereas this kind of limits itself to the range, based on the softness and the range. Um, check out the other videos from the asset store page where this belongs and yeah hope you like the shader thanks for watching bye now